Morning everybody. <coughs> Just crawled out of my uh, little bed space and uh, sleeping on top of the trailer was fine. It was um, that's about three and a half foot wide, uh, seven foot long, plenty of room for me there and uh, it was uh, peachy. Got a uh, uh, army GS blanket underneath me with um, a vacuum mattress and uh, my four season sleeping bag. I battened the tent down last night because uh, like I say, the weather forecast is heavy rain. I didn't know whether it would come in during the night or whether it was uh, going to arrive today. So, just batting the windows down. It's uh, quite dark in there, but I've got a uh, an electric uh, um, light in. Funky's already been up and out, and uh, he's, uh, look at that. Mr. Rabbit wasn't very impressed, but uh, He's our rabbit curry for this evening's dinner, so um, watch this space for that one. We're going to get a bit of uh, breakfast on the go on the fire pit. I uh, like to use the fire pit uh, wherever possible instead of uh, wasting the uh, um, petrol for the cooker. And uh, so we'll strike this fire up and it will be, um, I don't know, egg, bacon, beans. Anybody want any? <laughs> Okay, so in the larder, always keep a few of my uh, homemade fire lighters. Uh, quality Jackson, mate, there we are. And uh, got half a dozen or so with me, so we're going to spark these up, light the fire. Got the old uh, Zippo with a rubber band on it. Still haven't filled this up since um, my uh, church camp. Seems to be going strong. There is a video on the older uh, homemade fire lighters if anybody uh, is thinking, oh, how do I make those? Uh, just uh, have a look through my old stuff and it's uh, DIY fire lighters, I think it's called. Okay, let's get a bit of breakfast on. I just said to uh, Funky, have you got any uh, cooking oil or uh, olive oil? Because I've just run out. I've looked in the larder and uh, personal admin, F, only almost a gallon of oil. <laughs> Funky's having uh, healthy porridge. I'm having eggs, bacon, beans, tomatoes, mushrooms. Sort, sort that one out, eh? Oh, that's been awful. That's going to explode in the boiling <laughs> now I bought this bacon at the uh, bushcraft show and uh, took it home so I kept it in the cool bag in uh, the uh, truck and uh, took it home straight in the freezer so uh, literally pulled it out and uh, here we are. Is that the smoky stuff? Yep. I've got some out and took it home I'll tell you what it's fantastic. Is it like bison? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, you don't There's enough here for Funky, don't worry. <laughs> porridge, he's not having porridge. Hope you're getting that. And I hope it's making you hungry. <laughs> <laughs> nice cup of tea. Okay, those alarms are Funky Prepper ruining the uh, beautiful, peaceful countryside with his uh, uh, perimeter alarms that he's just setting. But um, the rain didn't come, so uh, I've taken the trailer out of the uh, number nine just set it up under the uh, beautiful canopy and uh, it is as is i mean this is my little kind of routine this is how i have it and uh, i always uh, bring a drop of bleach i always put a little tiny bit of bleach in my washing up water because uh, in the field you know get stuff on your hands hygiene isn't uh, 100 percent and uh, so um, that's my little trick for the field the larder you've seen the petrol stove I try not to use but it's there in an emergency set the number nine up that's my uh, camp bed so uh, I'm a good sort of 18 inches to uh, 20 20 inches off the ground I've got two um, kind of bed systems really first thing I always do is put an old army general service blanket down one blanket underneath is worth two on top then I've got a um, inflatable kind of three-quarter uh, mattress and then I've got the thermal rest my four season sleeping bag on top of that my little chair and my uh, pot belly stove that's uh, 
uh, venting uh, underneath the canvas there it's got a little uh, sleeve that insulates the um, chimney so that it doesn't transfer the heat to the canvas and uh, a little hurricane lamp um, just lit the hurricane lamp because I remember one of my lamps having a leak and I uh, lit it just to make sure it wasn't that one but that one seems fine Funky's just over there talking to himself in the woods. There's a lot of it about, apparently. Sorry, people. Lunch. We've come here with the whole world, so it's not as if we've had to sort of um, find a viable water source or uh, forage food or anything like that. It really has been um, a couple of days away to get your kit out, make sure it's all serviceable, uh, familiarise yourself with its use and uh, clean it, pack it up and put it away. And so that's what this weekend is about. Here's a little uh, gift from Funky Prepper. He was going through his... Uh, MREs that he's recently uh, purchased and acquired. These are uh, American ones. I have to turn around and say that I've never uh, had them. But um, yeah, gave me a beef ravioli in meat sauce MRE. So um, looking forward to cracking that open at some point. Probably won't be on this trip, but um, uh, I'll throw it in my bug out bag and uh, no doubt we'll get around to that. So uh, Thanks very much, Funky Prepper. Just share a minute of this with you. That's where we've come from. You know, we are about a 10 minute walk that way. And uh, we are bang on the coast. So let me share this with you. Wind is probably gonna be a bit much, so you'll have to uh, forgive me. And that over there is a place called the Isle of Wight. So we bang on the uh, south coast. Don't think we could have bugged out any further than this, could we? So. Not a bad little walk. It's about 15 minutes from where we camped. How cool is that? Isle of Wight, everybody. There we are. Me and Funky caught a rabbit this morning, and this gentleman's got a... <laughs> Looks like a very angry shark. <laughs> Beautiful. There you go. Okay, this is Funky the Master Butcher. He's uh, sorting a rabbit out, rabbit curry tonight with uh, rice, Funky? Yes, basmati rice, mate. Okay, no problem. So uh, that leaves me to sort out some bread. So uh, we've decided that uh, Chef Funky will be sorting out the rabbit and I'll be knocking up some bread. Wow, so I'm gonna bring you in uh, Wow, so I'm going to bring you in nice and close. This is one of my uh, pre-prepared bread mixes. This one's a couple of years old. Uh, 28th of April uh, 2011 is when I uh, vacuum sealed this. And uh, it's uh, everything that you need in the bag, plus a uh, little bag of yeast. This is my uh, top secret bread mix. And uh, just bang it out on the uh, top of the truck. Okay, so a bit of bread to go with the uh, rabbit curry. Got a little bit of uh, powdered milk here. And uh, a little bit of sugar. Got a uh, packet of yeast and uh, some warm water, about 400 mils. 
and uh, next thing is just a bit of salt. Just go with a bin liner. Yeah. One up, mate. There we go, just a pinch of salt. Yeah. And there we go. Now we just uh, knead it into a dough. A bit wetter than I'd like, but uh, there you go. Jobs are good. Sorry we haven't got proper glasses. <laughs> Was that the stuff that puts hairs in your chest? <laughs> Cheers mate. Happy camping. Salute. <laughs> Cheers mate. Nice one. Wow, okay, so hope you can see this. This is the uh, beautiful uh, rabbit curry and uh, all down to uh, Mr. Funky himself. Oh, and uh, roaches, beautiful bread. Uh, this is it, this is our evening meal. Uh, thanks for uh, tagging along. Old Funky's tucking in there. Uh, this is us, mate. We'll be back after dinner.